Well, hello, it's your old mate Dave Spencer back with you once again, and you're very welcome to Kelsall, June 2023. The uh, biggest, perhaps, and certainly the best vintage vehicle rally in the country, and uh, of particular note is for the truck fans, the lorry fans. Uh, there, yesterday, I think we counted about 230 ERS alone. So uh, the fantastic number of vehicles attending and it's a pleasure to welcome you uh, <coughs> on this almost sunny day, certainly very warm day. And uh, what are you going to see? Well, of course, we shall see what we shall see. And uh, I'll uh, probably have a chat with you as we go along, whether you like it or not, and then catch up with you at the end. How's that? I'll see you later.
bottom there with a the soft top. Morris Thousand coming out. The lads are just coming round again in the little Ford Escort. Lovely little car, 1.3 GL. The L, the GL, and the GLX. Number Ford Zephyr. B and A something B, 1964. Ford or Ford. So, we'll be a member of the Roman Links getting the beer from somewhere else. The Sunbeam. The Sunbeam to Albert Open Top. <laughs> Not really Open Top where the league of the rollers come round again. A lovely little Saab in its JCB yellow, I think you call it. The four door Morris Minor, so we got four door Morris Minor, two door Morris Minor. I'm just wondering, I think we had a convertible in the SD as well. Big old Provide Sprint in front of me. 1961 62, they'll be registered in uh, Cheshire. And we've got a little Morris 8, two door car. The row opening doors. Suicide doors, we used to call them, because they opened the wrong way. Yeah, suicide doors on those. The handles on the front seat. And then, spare wheel always on the back of the open. The little Morris 1002 door, we've seen a four door. And the Triumph Herald. Not many of these in, pa in, in, in preservation, because they were, they were awful rock boxes. But one or two did survive. And especially the Vitesse, the double head left one. This is a soft top with a hard top put back on. And the Morris 1100. The, uh, the estimates today for the ERFs was about uh, 200 and, uh, is it 253 or something? An incredible effort, isn't it? And of course, we mustn't forget all the other marks, the Foden's here, the Leyland's here, you see the Scammers, the Bedfords, and all the other marks. It is a huge logistical exercise getting this amount of vehicles out. For those who have been with us as we film at the exit from Truck Fest, as it used to be at Peterborough, and uh, the departures went on for hours. What do you say? Well, you might be still here for hours tonight. Well, my dinner will be ready tonight, so I'm not going to be too late. Now oh, there are uh, lines forming up all over the showground now. This really is a job and a half getting rid of this stuff. We've got them on, so we've got to get them off. Well, the marshals are fairly uh, helpless at the moment down this end. They're in the lap of the gods. I can see the wagons queued up now and the uh, stacks belching out the smoke as far as the eye can see. And if you think it's like a Gaiden departure or something, it's nothing from what uh, Kelsey can offer. the uh, stands and vendors on their way as well including the amazing delights no doubt of glitter tattoos gosh yeah <laughs> i think that one's bypassed me a bit Just imagine me with a glitter tattoo where would you put it hey dave now come on keep it clean all right Well, we've got full sunshine now. 
the uh, skies clearing after the uh, ter terrific torrential downpour but I'd seen it coming and I retreated to the beer tent and I did partake of a pint of uh, <coughs> IPA Wainwright no advertising of course other types of IPA are available I bet you've tried them all day I've been for a few I like them very hoppy See another sort of thing you've learned about them. I like my IPAs hoppy. Well Dave, you said, or do you think you're a sort of hoppy type of person? So here she goes. Oh dear. Let go. Well, I've got plenty of space on my memory cards, so you can take as long as you want, really. I like it with a little bit of sunshine. Eh? I don't want to be doing it by moonlight tonight, do we? I'm sure last year, once they started, it was a bit easier than this. When I went out to go home about 6 o'clock yesterday, a caravan had gone out the car route. Yeah, he forgot when he gets in his caravanette, he's not a car. And then he met a car on coming on a very, very narrow stretch, and then they had a, a little bit of a, a rub against each other, as you do. And uh, you know, this marshal's got down there and got the radios out and then me and everybody else who were in the queue just turned around and went another way. And Dave did have his dinner. Well, this is fun, isn't it? I think there's an awful lot of events on this weekend. There seems to be lots and lots of traffic when I go back via Northwich and I'm not sure where we are all going, we've certainly not all been here. Cantrell's has edged his way into the line, but he's not going to go anywhere in a hurry, is he? getting out and uh, not that many getting anywhere actually at the moment. your old mate Dave Spencer back with you once again and thanks for joining us on our visit to Kelsall June 2023. What a fantastic show it's been and we've seen literally hundreds of vintage lorries and uh, other associated vehicles and it's uh, certainly been a pleasure to have you along with us today. 
and uh, of course we hope that we can meet you up well meet up with you again in the near future no i haven't been near the beer tent and uh, on behalf of mandy and myself god bless and see you all again soon bye for now bye bye everybody goodbye <laughs>